Hey guys, welcome in. James Phillips here. I'm with uh, Coach Bailey as always for the Coach Bailey Show. Uh, Coach, uh, we didn't get a win on Friday night, but we played pretty well. I hate to say moral victory, but we, we played all right. Yeah, and Pensa Valley's a really good football team. Um, that team's going to go far yeah. um, in the 6A playoffs. they got a lot of really good football players um, with bright futures ahead of them. Yeah. Uh, that number one uh, just committed to Alabama. Um, that running back, probably he's one of the best running backs I've ever seen in person. Yeah. Um, he's currently committed to Virginia Tech, and I think he's got some other um, big boys that are about to come in on him. So, um, good football team. But I was uh, I was proud of the way our guys competed, uh, especially in the second half. You know, they hung in there and, and fought it down on the wire. Uh, ended up, it was a two-score game. Right. About five and a half minutes left. So, yeah. you know, to, to keep swinging and, and to get back in that thing um, and end up scoring 33 points, you know, against a team like that, uh, there was some positives. You know, we're not ever going to talk about moral victories or anything like that, but there was some positives. Right. You know, seeing that we played a team uh, like that and some things that we can build on moving forward. For people who don't know, it was 55-33. Yep. But you guys are right in it and had the ball with two scores. Yeah, it was, it was 48-33 with five and a half minutes left. Right. Yeah. So, and then with our, you know, the scoreboard going out and all that kind of stuff, you trying to keep up with the time and the score, that was a, a different kind of deal. I've been a part of one other game like that where right. you didn't have the scoreboard and didn't have the time and you got to keep it on the sideline. And that's, you know, certainly a different kind of deal to manage. Uh, but, yeah, like you said, I mean, five and a half minutes left. Uh, it was a two-possession game. So, we, we scratched and clawed our way and got back in it. And that's a testament to, to the effort that our kids play with. Who called that trick play? Uh, that was me. I don't know that one. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna take that? One? Trying to make something happen. He should have thrown the ball away, right? You know, but he was trying to make something happen, and it ended up uh, not not going our way. But uh, you know, at that point, you're trying to make something happen, trying to go score, and, right? And uh, you know, trying to to win the football game. Well, for people that don't know, y'all went down 41-7 at halftime. We did, and then came back in the second half, and still they had their ones in there for a good bit of the time. They put some twos in. Mm -hmm. um, so what was the difference in the second half? We just executed better. What was really the difference? Uh, we got the ball to start. Uh, Hayden Yerby got loose um, going down their sideline. It was a big play for us. Really happy uh, mm -hmm. for Hayden to go score that touchdown. Um, and then our defense, you know, got off the field. We just executed better. So like you said, I mean, they had taken, you know, some of their guys out and had some uh, some backups in there. But <laughs> Pensa Valley's backups are still as good, yeah. as, good well, as And they quickly, uh, with two scores down, they quickly put their ones back in too. Yeah, which is not the place that you want to be in, right. in a game like that. You know, I've been on the sideline for, you know, a lot of games like that that we were ahead by a lot. And the last thing that you want to do once you pull your starters is have to put them back out there, right. you know, as far as finishing the game the right way. And, and they had to do that um, down the stretch. But I think we just executed better. You know, we were able to run the football uh, more effectively through and caught it better. Uh, there was a couple of different times offensively in the first half. Uh, we didn't do what we needed to do to stay on the field. You right. Know, third down, you know, and, and you got to do that. You got to convert third downs. You got to sustain drives. You can't keep putting your defense back out there, especially with an offense as explosive as the one that they had. Right. Uh, is. So I think we just executed better, and I think we played better, and I think that was the difference. Well, you mentioned the touchdown by uh, Yerby. That was mm -hmm. the first touchdown pass of the season for, for Jasper. Yeah, kind of a crazy thing that yeah. that was the, the first one, you know. And uh, our quarterback being hurt, you know, from what uh, had uh, – yeah, that had, had, a, lot had a lot to do with that. Yeah. So, but really happy for Hayden, man. Great kid. He's a senior. Um, works his tail off. Wish I had him for another two or three years. But right. really happy for him. Well, and he's yeah. a track yeah. star, and he kind of showed it when he got free. There. He got loose now. He got yeah. down that sideline. He can run. Yeah, because mm -hmm. nobody sure was catching him. No. Um, anything else about that Pinson Valley game? No, nah, man. Proud of the way our kids fought. They did. Hung in there. Played with a lot of effort. And, uh, and they fought that thing out. So, there's some things we can learn. Uh, there's some things we can build off of. And, and we'll go get ready for Bessemer City. All right. We move forward this, this week, Bessemer City. They're 1-9 coming in. Uh, only win against Brookwood. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm sure, you know, I mean, you guys are two and seven, so That's right. you can't overlook anybody. No, we ain't overlooking anybody <laughs> in the world. Uh, we're just thankful to have one more opportunity to go compete. You know, this is our seniors' last one, so we've talked about that this week um, and everything that our seniors have done and have meant to our program and making sure that we send them out um, the right way. So it's very important that we go win this football game, uh, but it's also important that we enjoy, you know, these last moments that we have together, you know, the team of 2020 and enjoy uh, being around each other. So that's what we're focusing on this week is working hard, you know, but also enjoy one another um, and hoping to go out and compete well against Bessemer City. So like you said, they have struggled uh, some this year. They beat Brookwood. They play in that Tuscaloosa um, 6A region with right. McAdory and Hueytown and Hillcrest Tuscaloosa and, and some of those guys. So they got some good football teams over there. 
Bessemer City has good players. You know, they do. Uh, well coached, and we're going to need to go uh, compete well and, and execute well to have a chance to win. And they also have a first-year coach mm -hmm. as well. Yep, uh, Rudy Griffin. Coach yeah. Griffin. Yep. Um, how about as far as you guys, what are you guys preparing for? Uh, what do you see? Everybody healthy? You know, that sort of thing. Getting some guys back healthy. Um, Trayvon has had that uh, growing strain. Um, he got some reps practice yesterday, um, so he's getting back going. We'll see what he can do. He's not 100% now, right? right? And he's not all fully back, uh, but we'll see. You know, see if he can get some carries and, and get back. Um, Connor Whitley's back. He's got that AC joint that's still kind of hampering him, but he, he's back. Um, Preston Reed, he's seeing the doctor again on Wednesday or Thursday, um, so he may be able to get some reps. We'll kind of have to see where he's at, right? Um, with that deal in his legs. So, uh, yeah, I mean, for the most part, we're getting back healthy. I mean, it's week 10, so you got some guys you know bumped and bruised up right. but we're getting some guys back to where they can at least you know not 100 percent, but they can get some reps and, and we'll find out what they can do well your quarterback he's really just now getting in the flow since he had missed a month yeah being out a month is a tough deal you know especially for a quarterback and and really everybody um offensively you know it kind of goes through that quarterback position so getting everybody back in the flow of things um with him um so yeah i mean having him back was a huge you know shot in the arm for us and and uh, we're glad to have it. Anything special planned this week since it's the last week uh, of the season? Like y'all already did senior night, so. Teacher appreciation night. That's yeah, right. Yeah, that's a big deal. So all of our seniors, uh, we got them to write a letter um, to a teacher who was really impactful um, in their lives. Uh, we're distributing those letters, you know, early on this week. Um, our teachers will be out on the field with us uh, right after pregame warm-ups. Our senior players will go stand with their teacher. Uh, there'll be a video on the Jumbotron to recognize those guys. Uh, and that's a really neat deal for me to watch because that is such an impactful thing right. you know, for our teachers. When you're called to be a teacher right, and then to have one of your students come back to write you a letter. And I think that's a meaningful thing in today's society. Everybody wants to text and email. You right. don't have a lot of people who sit down and write you a letter. Um, and for our guys to do that, for a teacher to present that letter to them, um, and then to have that teacher read that letter, it, it's a really emotional and meaningful thing for our teachers to get those. Uh, and it's just a small token of our appreciation for our teachers. Right. You know, there's no greater calling in the world than to work with young people. Uh, we got some of the best teachers in the world in Jasper City Schools, and I think they do a great job, and, and we just want to let them know how much they mean to us. Right. Since it's going to be their last game, talk about your senior group a little bit and just what they mean. Yeah, this bunch means a lot to me, man. You know, this guy, this this team, they've been through a lot, and uh, and these seniors have hung in here, man, you know, with their backs against the wall, and, and they fought this thing out. So um, Brody Vincent, you know, up front on the D-line, uh, he's a guy who have opportunities to play uh, on Saturdays. So uh, Rocco and Brody Woods, um, also D lineman, uh, really proud of those kids, man. As far as they've come, you know, since I met them three years ago, from where they were then to where they are now, right? right. These guys have come a long way. So really proud and happy for them, you oh, know, yeah. the work they put in. Um, Connor Whitley, you know, he's a great kid. Um, Stone Phillips is a good kid. He has outstanding parents. <laughs> yeah, he does. Have, he's got a great dad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Stone is man. He's a good kid. I mean, all these guys, man, you know, stood in there and fought this thing out. Lee Walker uh, is another one. Huge effort guy. I mean, yeah. Everything he does, he's yeah. wide open 100%. Mason Slaughter. Um, but I think Mason will have a chance to play on Saturdays. I really do. Yeah. Uh, he's a big-time academic kid. His senior film is going to be really good. Yeah. Uh, he, the way he's kind of evolved his game as a defensive player and as an offensive player, man. Uh, really proud of Mason. Uh, he, he's the most he's the emotional leader uh, yeah. of our football team. I don't think there's any doubt about that so uh, proud of him proud for him you know and everything he means to he got good team. recognition this past week with uh, Rick Carley he, putting his picture the up American there. flag carried it Ron out Harris there. taken. yeah I think that post got shared like 1200 times yeah or something like that so that's awesome man and that's just you know the representative that he is of Jasper and, and, and what he means to, to our football team and our school and our community so that was a really neat deal so at corner uh, Aubrey Jones uh, Curtis Cavett you know, Curtis is another guy that's been through a lot. Man. Yeah. You know, he's been through a ton, and he's hung in here and, and fought this thing out. So, um, Lord, I don't forget. Malik Cook you know, was another guy that plays corner for us. John Rex Kane um, plays safety for us. It's hardworking guys, man. Right. All of them. Well, you've got a lot of guys on this team that have been there for four years and just mm -hmm. really worked to work their way up. You know? They have. They've worked, man. They just hung in here, worked their tails off. Some of them are getting opportunities to play now. Uh, and they paid their dues, right. you know, and they've hung in there for that. Andre Neal uh, was a guy that's a senior. He'll have some opportunities uh, to play on Saturdays. Uh, Lucas Higginbotham, a uh, guy that plays fullback for us, um, just tough, hardworking kids. Right? Yeah. So yeah. I'm sure I forgot somebody out of that going through. We have 17 seniors. Right. Uh, Blake Wilson 
um, is a guy, you know, plays receiver for us. Blake has really come on uh, these past two or three weeks, you know, since P. Reed went down and Blake stepped in there and he's done a really good job. Yeah. Hayden Yerby is also a senior. We talked about him uh, earlier. Zach Knowles um, is a senior, plays receiver for us. Um, I don't think I forgot anybody. Yeah, you don't have any senior offensive line. No, not a one. That's a good thing. All those guys will be back. Yeah. Right? Every yeah, one of them will be back for next year. So, Well, that's just anything you want to say to the community, get people out for this last game? Yeah, last one. You know, come out and support our kids. Uh, Best Mercedes Week 10. Uh, ought to be a good football game. Um, our kids have stood in here and fought, and uh, they, uh, we'd appreciate a big crowd on Friday night. So, go Bikes. Go Bikes. All right, guys, we'll see you Friday night against Bessemer City, and then we'll be back for one more show. Yeah, the wrap-up. Wrap you got something special week. planned for the wrap-up show? I think I can come oh, up Maybe with get something. Jeffrey on this side of the Yeah, camera. we might do that. Oh, People are tired right. of looking at me by this point. Got to be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you next week.